everyone today i'm going to present a paper on the topic of role of ultrasonography and computed tomography in evaluation of bowel pathologies the aim of this study was role of ultrasonography and computed tomography uh, in evaluation of bowel pathologies and objectives were to find out the etiologies of the abdominal pain and to find out the infective inflammatory and neoplastic conditions affecting the bowel to find out the sensitivity of usg and ct scan to diagnose the bowel pathology and the introduction the pain abdomen is an important and common complaint of patients going to medical room and it is uh, seen in 5 to 10% of all emergency cases however majority of the patients have generalized self limiting symptoms and only few patients have serious intra abdominal diseases which require intervention and the ultrasound and the ct are the most widely used diagnostic imaging modalities in patients attending this de uh, emergency department with acute abdominal pain both the imaging modalities are commonly used and are considered important aspect of clinical and laboratory evaluation in the last two decades among the cross sectional imaging techniques ultrasound has had a growing role in development and application of techniques for diagnosis of gi diseases because it is cheap non invasive and more comfortable for the patient and it has sufficient diagnostic accuracy to provide the clinician with high temporal and spatial resolution imaging data moreover doppler and contrast enhanced ultrasound contribute important information about the blood flow and in ultrasound when there is a presence of gas and other interstitial content it may make the assessment difficult in some cases therefore this makes the endoscopy magnet mri imaging and a computed tom tomography scan as the preferred imaging modalities upper gi evaluation with the use of the small bowel follow through ct scan and mri uh, enterography are used for diagnosis of small intestine disorders and ct scan is now considered as a primary imaging modality for inflammatory bowel disease and its complication due to the higher resolution assessment of intestinal and extra intestinal diseases and it also due to the short acquisition time and full time availability and the use of newer more sophisticated multi detector helical row ct scan machines which allow the higher resolution imaging of the abdomen particularly the bowel loops which generate images in multiple directions to assess the visualization of not very noticeable abnormalities and in this study we compared the ultrasound with ct in detecting the causes of common bowel pathologies such as appendicitis diverticulitis valvulus in patients presenting at the hospital with acute abdominal pain in majority of the cases and the methods which we used at the place, uh, place of study was dr dy patel medical college and hospital pune and the study design was cross sectional study which was done for an, one year with a sample size of 100 cases and inclusion criteria in, uh, has is as a clinically suspected lesions of the bowel and the exclusion criteria were the patient allergic to iodinated contrast media or pregnant women and patients with chronic renal diseases and the equipment used was filts computed tomography imaging which is 128 slice ct scan and ultrasound imaging machines like aloka hitachi and the, the technique for the ct scan was all the patients were called for at least 6 hours fasting before the scan and a written consent was obtained from each patient after explaining the possibility of contract contrast reaction oral contrast will be administered 5 to 45 minutes prior to the scan and the non hnas ct scan of the abdomen will be done taking 5 mm thin axial sections of 5 mm interval from dome of diaphragm up to the level of pubic symphysis and the patients will be coached to breath holding prior to the scan and the iv contrast is given as per the weight of the patient and after administration the images are required in the both portal and venous phases which is an easily optimized for the evaluation of important visceral organs a cross sectional study was done on patients presenting with abdominal pain and all the clinically suspected lesions involving the bowel in the patients with were clinically evaluated and they underwent ultrasound and computed tom tomography within a few hours of presentation and the results were as we have we have give, we have uh, done a bar diagram which shows the age and gender wise distribution of the study sample and this is the uh, age and gender wise distribution of the study sample and this is the pie chart showing the gender distribution male and female and the mean age of the 100 study sample was 37 years it's a standard deviation of 17.16 years with the highest 78 years and lowest 7 years there were 61% males and 39% females in the study and 33% samples were from 21 to 30 years age group and followed by 20% subjects from the 31 to 40 years age group and this is the bar diagram showing the organ involved among the study sample which uh, which shows that the large bowel was majorly involved which includes 33% followed by the small bowel and appendix 
and this is the bar diagram showing the type of diseases among the study sample mostly were infective which is followed by neoplastic and then inflammatory and others which were like surgical emergencies like intussusception and valvulus and this is the bar diagram showing the diagnosis among the study sample which shows the neoplasm was the most common diagnosis among study subjects which includes the adenocarcinoma and lymphoma followed by acute appendicitis and there are surgical emergencies like intussusception and valvulus were also present along with the Crohn's disease, which is 17% and abdominal cox, which is 18%. And this is a table showing the disease of uh, type of disease according to organ involved among the study sample. Appendicular diseases were mainly infected among the study subjects, whereas large bowel included both inflammatory and neoplastic, whereas small bowel mostly they were infected. And this is a table showing the sensitivity of the test as per organ involved among study sample. And overall CT scan was more sensitive to detect abdominal diseases than USG. And USG was as sensitive as CT scan to detect appendicular diseases, whereas for the rest of the organs, it was approximately 50% less sensitive than CT scan. And this is the table showing sensitivity of the test as per type of disease among study sample. Uh, this was CT scan was the most effective for diagnosing neoplastic and the other uh, lesions uh, like uh, intersection or valvulus and the infective diseases uh, can be diagnosed on ultrasound uh, or CT with more than 70% sensitivity. And this is a table showing sensitivity of ultrasound and commuter tomography as per diagnosis among study sample. And a CT scan of the abdomen can detect 100% surgical emergencies like acute appendicitis, appendicular mucosal, intersusception, diverticulitis, and also the valvulus. And a CT scan having almost double sensitivity for diagnosis, including like chronic diseases like neoplasm, Crohn's disease, and IUSG. And USG having least sensitivity of 16% for the diagnosis of the ulcerative uh, colitis. And this is the cases which we have, uh, ima uh, images of the cases which we have obtained. And this is the ultrasound image of the case of the uh, Crohn's disease, which shows the normal ileum uh, with the bubble wall thickening shown in the uh, ascending colon and the cecum. And there is increased vascularity uh, mesenteric vascularity noted and there are uh, multiple enlarged lymph nodes, mesenteric lymph nodes. And this is the CT images obtained uh, for the case of the ulcerative uh, like active uh, Crohn's disease which showed the increased mesenteric vascularity and there is a wall wall thickening noted in the ileum, uh, distal ileum, uh, ascending colon and the cecum. And this is the ultrasound image uh, showing the bowel wall thickening and uh, surrounding the uh, fat stranding in the case of the uh, ulcerative colitis and this is the uh, ultrasound images and CT images of the case of colo colonic intersusception uh, with a large submucosal lipoma which shows the target uh, char characteristic target sign appearance on the ultrasound and there's the CT and the, la the transition point uh, was not the leading point was noted as the submucosal, submucosal lipoma which was a hyper uh, echo echo on ultrasound and it was high prudence on CT. And these are the ultrasound images for the case of the uh, appendicular perforation, which is noted at the base of the appendix, which is identified by the hyper, uh, hyper echoic uh, foci noted, and the normal uh, ileocecal junction was noted. With the with, we also have a fairly uh, defined uh, heterogeneously hypoechoic. Uh, hypo abscess which is noted near the appendix and these are the ultrasound images of the case of uh, abdominal tuberculosis which shows a ileocecal uh, junction wall thickening with the surrounding necrotic uh, and multiple conglomerated lymph nodes and this is the CT scan uh, which showing the uh, bubble wall thickening uh, with the surrounding fat stranding which is involving mainly the ileocecal junction and terminal ileum. And this is the case of adenocarcinoma of the ascending colon. Uh, here we can see there is a short segment thickening of the ascending colon and the cecum. And there is a normal, uh, you can see there is an incompetent, uh, significantly incompetent ileocecal wall and significantly dilated ileum and the uh, ascending colon, and, uh, ileum and the cecum. And here we on the CT scan, we can see heterogeneously enhancing ascending colon uh, with mild uh, fat stranding noted. And discussion. In our study, a total of 100 patients with bowel disorders were studied using ultrasound and CT, and 25 patients were diagnosed with appendicular pathologies. 
uh, and 25 cases with primary neoplasm, 18 were abdominal cox and 17 were Crohn's disease, 6 were ulcerative colitis, 4 were vulvus and 3 were diverticulitis, colitis and 2 were interception. Equid appendicitis was the most frequent finding seen in 23 patients and ultrasound was diagnosed in all except one case. Whereas bowel wall thickening was seen in most disorders and is seen in both ultrasound and computer tomography. Endocarcinoma was the most common finding among the neoplasm and was frequent in the old age group and heterogeneous post contrast enhancement uh, with a non -necrot uh, necrotic and non enhancing metastatic lymph nodes was helped in understanding the extent of the involvement and treatment. And the hepatic metastasis and contiguous organ involvement were much less commonly seen, and the vascular encasement, which is a sign of non operability, was uh, not seen in our study. In our study, ultrasound was used as an initial modality of choice for evaluation of patients. The study showed uh, high specificity and sensitivity in cases like acute appendicitis, intersusception, and appendicular mucosal. It provides a modality for effective real time evaluation of bubble loops. In cases of dilated bubble loops, likely volvulus, it is ineffective in assessing the cause and transition point. Differential thickening of the various layers of the bowel wall can be assessed in real time and they can be helped in the cases of ulcerative colitis where there is thickening and involvement of holy mucosa and submucosa, which is mostly seen in the ultrasound. And CT scan is a diagnostic modality of choice in the bowel and the intestinal disorders. In our study, in only two cases, there were discrepancy among the findings obtained in the final diagnosis and uh, a case of abdominal TB was diagnosed as Crohn's and a case of bacterial colitis was diagnosed as ulcerative colitis. And the incidental findings like Michael diverticulum and interception were picked efficiently on CD screens. And the conclusion, in the last decade, many cross-sectional imaging techniques have evolved as superior alternatives to fluoroscopic imaging in examination of the small and large bowel. In particular, transabdominal ultrasound will be regarded as the first imaging procedure in diagnostic workup and follow-up of the bowel disease. Although CT is most sensitive imaging investigation for detecting urgent conditions in patients with abdominal pain, Using USD first and then CT only in those with negative or inconclusive USD results in best uh, sensitivity and lowest exposure to radiation. And whereas CT misses fewer cases than ultrasound, but both USD and CT can reliably detect common diagnosis among causing abdom uh, acute abdominal pain. And these are the references. Thank you.